Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Matisse. Last week, I tested out one of Claire's gluten-free recipes in her book, and so I thought this week I would try one of her vegan recipes. And the recipe that I'm gonna be trying is her seedy maple blueberry muffins. Like with the flourless cake, I've never tried baking anything vegan before, so I'm interested to give this recipe a try. To make Claire's seedy maple blueberry muffins, I grabbed a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of sunflower seeds, two tablespoons of flax meal, one tablespoon of demerara sugar, I didn't have any so I just used granulated sugar, one teaspoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of poppy seeds, one cup of all-purpose flour, a half cup of whole wheat flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, three quarters teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsweetened applesauce, a half cup of coconut oil warmed to liquefy, a third cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one cup of blueberries. To start, I scattered the sunflower seeds on a tray and toasted them for about seven minutes in a 350 degree oven until they turned slightly golden brown. Keep in mind if you're using pumpkin seeds too, you would toast them along with the sunflower seeds now. Next, I whisked the flax meal along with a quarter cup of boiling water and set that aside to cool for five minutes. Separately, I mixed together the sugar, chia seeds, poppy seeds, and the remaining tablespoon of sunflower seeds for the topping. Then I mixed together the dry ingredients by whisking the flowers, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt together in a large bowl to combine. In a separate bowl, I whisk the flaxseed water mixture, applesauce, coconut oil, brown sugar, maple syrup, and vanilla until it was smooth. I made a well in the center of the flour mixture to pour in the wet ingredients. Starting from the center, I slowly whisked in all of the flour until it was well combined into a thick batter. Finally, I folded in the seeds and blueberries before dividing the batter evenly into 12 lined muffin cups. I sprinkled the topping mixture evenly over the top and then baked them at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until the toothpick inserted into the center came out clean. Okay, so I have one of the muffins here with me. And I will say, from what it smells like, it smells very healthy. But let's give this a taste. Mm. I definitely wouldn't have been able to tell it was vegan if I didn't know. It tastes very breakfasty with all the seeds and blueberries and the maple syrup. All of that makes it taste like something you'd definitely be eating for breakfast. You can also tell it doesn't have too much sugar in it because it's not overly sweet like a lot of other muffins, which I think Claire really emphasized in her book. It actually kind of reminds me of the flavor of blueberry pancakes, but I'm not sure if that's just because of the maple in it. I feel like this would really be good if you added some lemon juice and or zest to it to make it into like a lemon blueberry poppy seed kind of thing because those flavors really go well together. For me, I didn't include pumpkin seeds just because I didn't have any on hand. And I can't really say I miss them that much. I mean, there's a lot of other seeds on here. And as Claire said in her book, you can feel free to leave seeds out if you don't have them or add some more if you have some other kinds of seeds you wanna to add to it. It's definitely not dry at all, and the blueberries and seeds give it a lot of contrasting textures. This would be the perfect thing to start your morning with for breakfast. I'd probably rate this an eight out of 10. It was a great first experience baking vegan, and I definitely recommend you try this if you want something kind of healthy that you won't feel too bad about eating for breakfast. And if you or anyone you know is vegan or you just wanna try baking something vegan yourself, well, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. Be sure to keep leaving your suggestions in the comments down below of what other things you want to see me make from Claire's book. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you all next time.